In patients with symptomatic atrial fibrillation and end-stage heart failure, referred for heart transplantation evaluation, the role of left atrial catheter ablation is unknown. A new trial assessed the efficacy and safety of this approach. In this open-label randomized trial undertaken at a single center in Germany, 194 patients with symptomatic atrial fibrillation and end-stage heart failure were assigned to receive either catheter ablation and guideline-directed medical therapy or to receive medical therapy alone. Ablation was performed in 84% of the patients in the ablation group and 16% of those in the medical therapy group. Primary endpoint was a composite of death from any cause, implantation of a left ventricular assist device, or urgent heart transplantation. After a median follow-up of 18 months, a primary endpoint event had occurred in 8% of the ablation group and 30% of the medical therapy group. Key secondary endpoints favored the ablation group, including death from any cause, implantation of a left ventricular assist device, and urgent heart transplantation. Minor procedure-related complications, all related to the vascular access site, occurred in three patients in the ablation group and one patient in the medical therapy group. The authors conclude that in patients with symptomatic atrial fibrillation and end-stage heart failure, the combination of catheter ablation and guideline-directed medical therapy lowered the risk of a composite of death from any cause, implantation of a left ventricular assist device, or urgent heart transplantation, as compared with medical therapy alone. Full trial results are available at nejm.org.